Hello everybody, welcome to Doing Dental School. My name is Kajal Khatri. I am a first year dental student at Marquette University School of Dentistry and my whole channel is about sharing my life in dental school and sharing different tips and tricks um, for pre-dental students. So if you wanna stick around, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so it is Monday, it's Valentine's Day, which is kind of fun, but um, it has been a long day. It's literally only what, like I think 3.30, 3.45. It has been a day. So um already had two exams this morning, which is honestly just like the life of a dental student. Just, I don't know, it's a constant stream of taking exams. And so um, this morning we had a pres res exam. It was a theory exam, which is a, it was like 56 questions. Um, about like dental materials, classes of dental materials, um, biocompatibility, things like that. So that was honestly kind of tough. It was a really, I don't know, his, his exams are pretty tough. So um, I think the entire class afterwards was a little um, scared and caught off guard by how difficult that exam was, but hopefully, if we're all in the same boat, that hopefully is good. So um, after the theory exam, we came back into the sim lab and we actually had a practical on our class one prep. So um, part of the practical, we ended up prepping number 30, um, just the occlusal surface. So that's like the chewing surface of your tooth and you prep a tooth in order to fill it. So it's like the drilling part of um, getting a cavity filled. So we did that um i felt pretty good about the practical um there was like one little thing that i kind of messed up and i know i messed up so hopefully it doesn't hinder me too much um so yeah that has basically been my morning and then after that had lunch and um we went back and we actually learned how to do the amalgam restoration so i mentioned this in a previous video but we still do learn amalgam in dental school even though it's not really commonly used anymore and it's because a lot of the time well first of all it is somewhat used in certain areas there's are some indications to use amalgam and then also with prepping um the walls and the prep for an amalgam filling and um, amalgam restoration is a lot more precise and you have to be a lot more exact which teaches us how to be more exact so that's kind of why we still do amalgam and we still learn it in school um so we actually had a lecture on the amalgam restoration and then how to do it and then he did a demo and so i got a few of them done which i think i got a few clips of um so that was pretty good and then I ended up just leaving a little bit early so that I could come home and start studying. So it's been my day. I know like a really big rundown of my day but it's been a long day so far. So um, that is kind of it for right now. <laughs> Wait, actually I do have an exciting um, update. So this was like a few weeks ago. Um, we went to a it was like a team's meeting basically with Crest and Oral B, like one of the reps. And so um, they kind of gave us like a rundown of the company, some of their products, some of their like toothbrushes, how to sign up for um, like the dental student account type of thing. And then if you attended the meeting, you got a free toothbrush. So um, I like stuffed this in my bag and they finally came in. This was like a few weeks ago that I went to this meeting, but so, um, it's the Oral-B IO toothbrush. I think it's like, like they said it, I mean, I looked on their website. It's like a $300 toothbrush. So it's kind of crazy that they just like gave it to us, but it's super nice and I'm very thankful. Um, I have a feeling that I'm probably going to gift this to someone, um, just because I do already have my Gobi electric toothbrush, which by the way, if you didn't know, I have like a coupon with Gobi. So if you use the code, I think it's doing dental school, you get like $10 off of your toothbrush, only making it like $45, which is kind of nice. So, um, I already have that and I have an electric toothbrush already. So I think this is going to get gifted to someone. And then to my surprise, um, Crest also gave us some other goodies. I haven't actually looked at this, so I guess we'll do a little like unboxing haul type of thing. If I can actually get this open though. Ugh. Okay, maybe not. There we go. All right. Um, 
sticker on there. But, okay, let's see what they like in this. Okay, a lot of toothbrushes. Oh my goodness. Well, that's kind of fun. A lot of toothbrushes. <laughs> Makes sense. Another toothbrush. This is actually the toothbrush that I already have. I think I got it from the vendor fair. Um, oh, and then it's just a ton of toothpaste, too. Oh my goodness. This is like a lot. Wow. Okay, yeah. So we got like the gum detoxify. I think this is the other gum detoxify one. And then two of the gum insensitivity toothpaste. That's so fun. I don't know. It's it's fun getting all of this stuff in dental school. I don't know. Just like it all just like comes to you. And I know it doesn't stop when you're in a dentist, but it still gets me so excited. So yeah, just like a little thing to look forward to. Again, this will probably all get given to people in my family and friends and stuff because I do not need four toothbrushes right now. And I do not need four toothpaste right now too. <laughs> everybody happy Tuesday so today um it's about nine right now we had lecture this morning for gross anatomy and so I don't think I've actually explained what all is happening this week but basically this week is very like beginning heavy so the beginning of this week is very very busy and then the end of the week we'll kind of get to chill so after the craziness of yesterday, today we in class had like kind of a review session. We went through like a bunch of practice questions and then um, we have a lab quiz today. So that's on the thorax, which includes like thorax, heart and lungs, I think. So um, we have a lab quiz on that. And so I'm going to take that online right now and then Tomorrow is like a really big gross anatomy day. So we have a team quiz where in class, it's basically we get six questions. We do um, six questions individually and then those same ones we answer with our group. So it's kind of nice we get to like have input from other people and it kind of takes a little bit of pressure off that exam. But right after that, we have a lab exam. So that's on the thorax and abdomen. Um, it's 50 questions and basically it's like, She'll tag a structure in the body and essentially it'll be questions like you have to know the structure and ask, answer a question about it. So it'll be like, oh, what innervates the structure or like what is the venous drainage of the structure, things like that. So it'll be interesting. This is our first exam, so I'm kind of nervous. So it's basically what I'll be studying for like most of today. Um, so yeah, but I'm about to take that lab exam or lab quiz right now. Okay, so I just finished the lab quiz. It was all right. I think it gave me a better understanding of what I need to study for tomorrow, for tomorrow's lab exam. So that was probably a good thing and I didn't wasn't terrible. It just gave me a good idea of what I should actually look for and what I should actually study. So that was good. And now I just made myself a big cup of coffee <laughs> and I'm probably just going to keep studying for tomorrow. I have Pathophys lecture today at two o'clock. Um, one of our foundations lectures actually, um, it didn't get canceled. It was, it's just like an asynchronous lecture. So I'll probably look over that like sometime later this week when I'm not as crazy stressed. So, um, yeah, so it's probably how I'm going to spend the next few hours just studying for gross anatomy tomorrow and prepping for that exam. So as you can tell by my hair, it has been a long day of studying. I left my apartment a little bit later and I went over to another building on campus just to study for a bit. And not even a bit, I spent, I spent like 
four or five hours. <laughs> um, took dinner there and everything. So it was very productive and I'm feeling a little better about tomorrow's exam, which is good. So I'm about to head into my apartment and head to bed. But I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, everybody. So, as I said, today is a big, big, big gross anatomy day. So, um, I actually just got back from gross anatomy um, during our lecture portion, which we have like an hour of lecture and then three hours of lab. So, during that hour lecture portion today, we took that team quiz. So, I think it went pretty well. I got my like individual score back right away and then we did a group portion and a few of the people in my group got 100 on their individual portions so it was kind of nice that we could just collaborate with them and kind of understand all of the answers and then now i am home it's about 1 30 and i have to take the actual like lab portion of the exam online and so it opens at two so i think it's open from two to seven tonight um and each each one that i take it's 25 minutes and then an eight minute grace period which i don't exactly understand the whole concept of like grace periods on exams online like i don't know why they don't just give us 33 minutes but that's how it's set up so um i have to just take that sometime before um seven o'clock today so honestly i think i'm just gonna take it right away because I don't know how much I'm really gonna retain now after so many hours of studying for this exam. So yeah, I think I'm going to just try to study for the next like 30 minutes. I don't really know how much I'm gonna retain after that. So probably just take it right when it opens at two and just be done with it. And then, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think, I think it'll be fine. Hopefully it goes okay. And then, after the exam um figured i'd just like update you guys i'm also gonna set this down i feel like i'm shaking my hand too much but um after the exam so this is a lot of what i mean by having a balance in dental school i think i was talking about this like two videos ago but you definitely like dental school is really hard and you have a lot of things that you're doing and studying for constantly. So when you get to take a break, it's important to actually genuinely take a break. And so the beginning of the half of this week has been really, really tough, as I've said. And so the second half of the week is hopefully going to be a little more lighthearted and chill. So tonight, um, I'm really, really excited. So it's one of my friend's birthdays this weekend, and she actually was not planning to tell us that it was her birthday, but we somehow figured out like last weekend that it's her birthday this week so what we have like a little sneaky plan that we've created so to um celebrate a lot of my friends are actually gone this weekend for the annual session for asda which i'm not going to but a few other people are so we figured we would celebrate our her birthday today um so either way we were like planning to go and just grab a drink or something today so instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna like pretend like we're all like sick or whatever and just like don't feel up for going to drinks and we actually reached out to her boyfriend via <laughs> instagram and um one of my friends reached out to him and was like hey like we want to come and decorate her apartment like your apartment for um for her birthday so he's gonna actually take her out and like we're gonna get into their apartment and we're gonna decorate it all cute and then we're gonna go out to dinner and surprise her and just celebrate her um just as a little like celebration for her birthday and we're all done with like our crazy part of this week and all of our exams so that'll be a really really fun thing to look forward to later today all right so i just got done with the exam i think it went okay 
I like the actual questions weren't hard, but we didn't have much time to actually do it. So um, it was like a minute per question and I'm a relatively slow test taker. So it was, I just felt very rushed and I think I just felt like really just, I don't know, anxious the whole time because I was like, oh no, like I gotta finish everything in this amount of time. But I think it still went okay. Um, we didn't get our scores back right away. She said that she goes through and looks at stats of all of this, um, all of the questions to make sure that there weren't any like bad questions. So yeah, but since um, getting done with the exam, I honestly haven't even like touched schoolwork. <laughs> I uh, deep cleaned our apartment. So I went and like cleaned the kitchen and the bathroom. I like just vacuumed and cleaned everything up and wiped everything down. So it's basically what I've been doing. Um, but I'm about to just like hop in the shower and start getting ready for dinner tonight. So I'm really excited. Um, yeah. <laughs> happy thursday um so this morning we have had dental anatomy lab we um took a like a bite registration or like a facebook of our patient which is just one of my classmates and um we were supposed to mount the maxillary using that but i didn't really get time so I'm planning to just go in early next week to finish that but i just got home it's about one o'clock um and then adding on to all of the balance that i'm <laughs> kind of creating this week um i actually work at starbucks which i think i mentioned in last week's video i think um so i actually have a shift at starbucks today so um i'll be going there and um just working i think it's only like a four hour shift so pretty quick um but i have to be there at 2 30 so i'm just taking some, i'm eating my leftover empanada from yesterday um and so i think i'm just gonna like eat lunch get some work done right now and then head over there at 2 30. Hello everybody. Don't mind me, I have the toaster oven on so you probably hear the clicking of that and I'm gonna be putting cream cheese on my bagel while I'm chatting with you but it is Friday morning. Um, last night my Starbucks shift actually went really well. I was really afraid that I forgot a lot of like the recipes and stuff of like how to make some of the drinks but the people working with me were so nice and they actually kept saying they were like, you like remember so much for like not working in a while i'm like yeah like i don't know it just i feel like it's like a muscle that you just i don't know it's like muscle memory so it was really good i really enjoyed it. i forgot how much i love working there like it's just always a good time it's really fun um so that was a good break from all the school stuff and then i came home and i studied a bit and i also read i'm reading november 9th by colleen hoover right now and it is really good i feel like every single book of hers that i read it's like the first part of the book i go really slow and then the second part i just like whip through the last like 100 pages sorry i'm grabbing some everything but the bagel seasoning um but yeah so today's friday honestly there's not much going on today i have four hours of lecture this morning, two hours for foundations, and then two hours for pathophys. I think the pathophys one is like a review session, which will be nice because we have an exam next Tuesday, which is really like all we have going on next week, which is really nice too. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I'm debating, I'm packing everything so that I can go to the library after class, but we'll see. Kind of debating whether I want to go or if I want to just come home and like chill for a bit. Okay, so I did not end up going to the library. Um, we got out of class like, I don't know, like 40 minutes early because there was a review session today for Pathophys. So, um, afterwards, I was honestly just exhausted and really hungry. And I kind of figured that I would come to my apartment right now and study for a bit. And then I think later tonight, I'm going to go to a coffee shop and study. So I figured having the time at my apartment 
before heading out to study would probably be good for me. So that's what I did, but I think I'm actually going to end off this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was enjoyable to just watch. I think there were a lot of exciting things that happened this week. So hopefully it was fun to watch and gave you some insight onto what D1 year is like as a dental student. So um, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to just keep up with my life and I will see you next time. Bye.